Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry to all two of my followers <laughs> uh, that I didn't post a video last week. I posted something on my blog instead. As a busy college student, I cannot do both. I can barely handle my schoolwork. It's fine. <sighs> so today, I thought I would bring you along to get ready with me because I'm some ratchet beauty guru or something. Basically, I look like this because I have a really huge choir concert in two hours, I think. Um, so I'm gonna do my makeup. How can I make this vegan related? Okay. I'm going to show you my vegan makeup routine. <laughs> Basically, all of my makeup is vegan um, because, hello, I'm vegan. Oh God. And I'm gonna simultaneously tell you some of my most embarrassing moments because um, if you know me, every day is an embarrassing moment for me. But I'm gonna tell you my most embarrassing ones because there are a lot of them. <gasps> okay, but before I do that, I have to do the neti pot because I'm congested. And if you're congested, you cannot sing. So let's do that. Welcome to the grossest thing you will ever see in your life. All right, beauty is pain and also discomfort. Oh my gosh, but I love the neti pot because my ears are always clogged for whatever reason. And because your sinuses are connected to your ears, it unclogs your ears. It's so great. All right, other side. And it also goes down your throat sometimes. I hate that. Name a better beauty guru. I dare you. Ugh! All right, well, we're going to add that to the list of most embarrassing moments. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with foundation. I got this new tart one that I'm a little bit scared to try because what if I turn out uglier than usual? I think tart is a vegan brand, um, a cruelty-free brand in general, so tart is a good one. She's a good one. I got the shape tape and practically the lightest shade that they have. Wow, I feel like James Charles or something. So let's start with something that happened in middle school. <laughs> this is um, what I'm known for, okay? Legendary, I tell you. So in the sixth grade, one time, um, I was going to the bathroom during lunch or something. So I was just in the bathroom, the girl's bathroom, minding my own business, you know, peeing before class or whatever. So this girl runs in the bathroom and she sits down on the toilet so hard that it makes like this sound or whatever and a piece of glass from the side of her toilet bowl fell into my bathroom stall. And I was just sitting there like, and then she flushes the toilet. And because there was now a huge hole in the side of her toilet bowl, all of the water, all of the pee flooded my bathroom stall out of her toilet. And my pants were on the floor. All of the water came into my stall. Not anyone else's stall, just mine. And I was so shook as an 11 year old girl. Then I started sobbing. So one of my friends was like, oh my God, Sarah, are you okay? I'll go get the principal, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, uh, okay. The principal came in and she's like, Sarah, are you okay? And I was like, I don't know if I'm okay. She's like, okay, well, like, are you wet? And I was like, yes, my pants are soaking wet. My legs are soaking wet in toilet water. Ugh. And she was like, okay, we'll come out. We have some spare clothes and the lost and found that you could wear or something. Maybe if they're your size. And I was like, okay. And it took her like 10 minutes to prompt me out of the bathroom. And when I did, like I had to pull my nasty toilet water pants back up. I felt disgusting. I was so embarrassed. Um, they didn't have any clothes in the lost and found that were my size because I was a really tiny little bean in middle school. I was like 70 pounds the entire three years I was there because I didn't hit puberty until I was like 15. <laughs> So they didn't have clothes for me, so I had to call my mom and be like, mom, um, crazy story. <laughs> the toilet flooded and my clothes are all wet. Can you bring me some clothes? She's like, I'm sorry, honey, I'm at work. I can't do anything for you. I was like, what, what the heck? <clears throat> oh, it tastes like Chipotle. And so I just had to wear my sweaty gym clothes for the rest of the day and people like made fun of me. 
because I was that girl that got flooded on in the bathroom. That's story number one from middle school. There are many more. So another story from middle school, I think I was in seventh grade at this point. So if you don't any, know anything about me, um, basically my mom got really into health and wellness when I was really young, probably like, I was probably like eight or nine. Um, and I remember one day she just read a few books and she came home and like trashed my favorite milk and my favorite cereal and I was sobbing and I was like, what's going on? She was like, this is not healthy. We are going to eat healthy now. And I was like the only kid in school who wasn't allowed to eat candy or cake or Oreos or chips. I had to eat really healthy starting at a very young age and it was such a drastic change for me and I freaking hated it. So this carried on my whole life pretty much until I made the decision myself to continue being healthy after my mother wasn't really in charge of me anymore. So in middle school, I was known as the organic girl. That's literally, I was so unpopular, but the popular people who did actually recognize that I existed, um, they knew me as the organic girl. One day at lunch in middle school, I was sitting with my friends and I had this weird organic drink that I always had. Uh, for lunch. It was like this weird um, fermented yogurt drink or something. It wasn't vegan, um, but it came from like a local farm. Amasi! It was called Amasi. I don't even, probably no one knows what that is, but it was like fermented um, yogurt from grass-fed cows or whatever, and I always drank that at lunch. And one day, I like took a sip of it, and I put it back down on the lunch table and I didn't put the cap back on. Typically, whenever you drink this drink, like you have to shake it every single time you drink it. The next time I went to sip it, the cap wasn't on and I thought it was. I picked it up and I shook it and it went everywhere. It flew on top of just my entire head. The entire bottle of just white goop was all over my head. My friends were covered in it. The lunch table was covered in it. And I kid you not, I remember this moment like it was yesterday. The entire cafeteria stopped and stared at me. Everyone was silent. And I almost cried in that moment. And so that was another day where I didn't have clothes and I had to wear my freaking gym clothes for the rest of the days. Another story from middle school. <laughs> it's also a bathroom story. One time, I went to the bathroom in my middle school bathroom, which by the way, my middle school is like 5,000 years old and they had not redone like anything. So the bathrooms were disgusting. There were always cockroaches in there. So one day I went to the freaking bathroom and I was just sitting there chilling and I look to my side and there's a freaking cockroach sitting there. And I didn't even finish peeing, but I stood up mid pee and I ran out of that stall. I didn't even pull up my pants all the way. I just didn't even care and people laughed at me. So there's, there you go. It's fine. I was a great kid. You know what? I kind of like this foundation. I think it matches my skin really well. It's fine. I was worried that it would be too heavy for me. Oh, I'm drinking a second cup of coffee today after I just ate Chipotle. Like I am asking for my body to shit my pants. All right. You know what? I'm going to come back to you with some stories after I do my eyebrows because this takes a lot of concentration. <gasps> okay. Oh, they're bushy. I haven't waxed my eyebrows in a while, so they're just gonna look big no matter what. The next story I'm gonna tell you is about the first date that I went on. <laughs> this was freshman year of high school. I believe I was 14. I give you full permission to judge me on this, all right? Um, but let me explain. Freshman year, I had a lot of hormonal issues. Um, Whenever I was 11 years old, I was diagnosed with um, a thyroid disease called Hashimoto's disease. And so basically my growth was stunted. That's why my puberty was really late. I had to start taking artificial hormone replacements at 11 years old. I started having hot flashes at 11 years old. So I've had like symptoms of menopause ever since before I was a teenager. My constant hormonal imbalance affected my bladder. So I went on a double date with um, a couple of my church friends. We were eating at this restaurant 
Yeah. And the whole time I had to pee so bad, but we were in a booth. So I couldn't like, I felt really bad about like disturbing everyone so I could get up and go, oh, you know what? I'm supposed to be telling you like the products that I'm using, hold on, pause. So for my eyebrows, I use this eyebrow pencil by the brand Mineral Fusion and it's the color Rough. I believe that is an all vegan brand, at least at the time when I bought this it was. And so next I'm using Too Faced Shadow Insurance in Champagne for uh, eyebrow or no, eyeliner, no, for freaking eyeshadow primer, okay? I believe Too Faced is vegan, but also I bought this way before I was vegan. Whatever, most of my makeup is vegan. Anyway, so I was sitting in this booth with my friends on this double date and I had to pee so freaking bad, but I didn't want to disturb everyone and finally it got so bad that I just had to get up. And as I was walking to the bathroom, I was like speed walking and I was like clenching all of my muscles together so I would like not pee on myself because at the time this was a very frequent occurrence, I'm not even gonna lie to you. On my way to the bathroom, I peed my pants. It wasn't just a little bit. My whole bladder emptied. My pants were soaked. I had pee dripping down my legs. There was no use even like sitting on the toilet at that point. Like I had already peed. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I just cleaned my legs off and I cleaned my feet off because there was pee all over my feet too. And I went back to our table and I stood up next to the table for the rest of the date because my pants were soaked. Luckily, I was wearing dark pants, so you couldn't tell that my pants were wet, but honey, I peed my pants. Um, anyway, there's that. And then I didn't go on a date until I was 17 after that. <laughs> I'm gonna use Maybelline The Nudes palette. I bought this before I was vegan. Not sure if this is a cruelty-free brand. All the makeup that I've bought after I went vegan is definitely all vegan. All right, I'm trying to think of another really embarrassing story. Pretty much my whole life is just an embarrassing story. Like my entire existence. I can tell you about my first kiss, I guess. I think I've told this story once or twice, but my first kiss was super awkward. It was when I was 17. <laughs> I mean, I think you could probably tell just by listening to me. That's why it took me so long to have my first boyfriend. Anyways, I went on my first official date whenever I was 17 and I had my first kiss when I was 17, which was three years ago. <laughs> so I really, really liked this guy and he actually, I think this was my second date with him. We went to the boardwalk in Bossier City. If you're from Bossier City, you know what I'm talking about. That was the place to go in middle school and high school. We went to see the movie Jurassic World and he parked on the very top level of the parking garage. <sighs> that overlooked the Red River, question mark? Whatever, a body of water. I don't even know. <laughs> it was nighttime, so it was like really pretty with a bunch of lights um, out and stuff. And there was a bridge with a bunch of lights on it. So it was really pretty. <laughs> so after the movie, okay, during the movie, he like held my hand. So like during the movie, I was like, oh my God, it's coming, it's coming. I'm gonna have my first kiss and I'm not prepared. I'm not ready. <laughs> after the movie, we walked back up to the top level of the parking garage. We stood at the ledge and looked at the night sky and the water and the lights. And we just talked for a really long time. It was a really nice time. <laughs> we eventually liked faced each other after a while of talking and he scooted closer to me and I was like, oh my God, it's about to happen, oh my God. And then right when I thought he was gonna do it, he looked down at my shoes and he said, hey, I just noticed that your shoes match your shirt. And I was like, everything after this happened in slow motion, okay? So when he said that, I was still looking down at my shoes because I was confused. And then as I looked up, I saw his face coming at me in slow motion and I wasn't ready. And because he was taller than me and I was looking down at my feet, he missed my mouth by a long shot. Like he kissed like right in the center of my face. And then I pulled away really quick. I was like, <laughs> and then he was like, what? I was like, you missed my mouth. <laughs> but then he kissed me again. He didn't miss my mouth that time. After that, he was like, congratulations. You have had your first kiss. And I was like, what is this? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Anyway, so as you can tell, my love life, um, it's 
a mixture of sad and comical, I suppose. Uh, Am I done with my eyeshadow yet? This video is gonna be so long. I don't know if this even looks good. I'm just like the worst beauty guru ever. I'm really bad at makeup, so you know what? I give you full permission to judge me right now. All right, we're just gonna do mascara and then we're done. We out of here. My mascara is definitely vegan. It's by Essence. It's Lash Princess because I'm a princess. My name in Hebrew means princess. So. We just gonna curl them lashes, Hanny. Oh, another embarrassing story. There's not really like a plot to this. For my first job ever, I was the Easter Bunny at the mall. It was the worst job ever. I honestly hated it. The bunny suit was so smelly. They had never washed that thing in the history of ever. Dang it. I had to sit in that hot bunny suit with screaming, crying children who are afraid of me for hours. I got paid $13 an hour, but honestly it wasn't even worth it. Like it was the worst job ever. Uh. Oh my gosh. Chipotle, why are you do that to me? Okay, I think this is the finished look. She's a little bit ratchet, but you know what? I've been sitting here for like an hour and a half and I'm probably out of time because I don't even know what time it is. Um, thanks for watching this video. I hope it made you laugh or make you feel better about yourself. I don't know. And I'll see you next time. Bye.